Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, I'm going to be talking about some future summon plans that I got for this year that have been changed due to the events that happened in JP. So that's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. Um, so before I go forward, I won't be, I'll be mentioning character names because it's going to be very hard to not mention character names with what I plan to talk about. Um, I'm not going to go into any story details, but if you're someone who's actively avoiding, like, names of characters, I would suggest you stop watching the video right here. That's my heads up for you. And let's go into the actual video. So, okay. Um, a lot of things have changed, mainly because when I originally did my plan for summoning this year, I didn't expect for, um, Japan to release... Um, cuckoo at the time that they did. So now we have another. Well, where is she? She's probably in here. Yes, part two release. If I go here, then summoning campaign two. Right here. So you can see here, early February is when I would see her. And the way she's built currently, she is a buster unit. So that completely changes the plan for summoning. Because summoning for Buster just suddenly became much more important than it was to me, um, than it was previously. So currently this is what we're on right here. We're in February, not much going on. Currently Valentine's came out. I didn't do a video on it just because I didn't really need to do it. I was originally planning to summon for Quetz on here just because that's how I am. But I have to actively hold back now and not do that and just pick up the free one later on because we are getting one for a free anniversary. So I'll just get her there. But that's basically what it looks like right now. Now we can go back in time into JP's version and see what's going on here. So yeah, Valentine's Day was right here. Um, I'm trying to think of... So the important day here is obviously the release of Morgan. Morgan's the first one where it's like... The sign of things to come. I forgot Quet's got another re-rendering. Don't look at her. Just don't look at her at the moment. When the hell does she release? She doesn't release in March. Does Maybe she releases in April. She releases whenever we get the next Lost Belt. Which would be sometime in... Uh, Avalon Campaign 2. She might be here for the release. Uh, she is here for the release. Morgan is right there. So... That's in June. Here's the problem. We got Lost Belt uh, Olympus way earlier than I was expecting. So I actually think that there's a high likely chance that we get this. The reason is is that so our timelines are really weird because our anniversary is slightly earlier. But there's certain characters that appear in the anniversary GSSR that they need to be summoned for. Um, so it's definitely a case where like, you really do need to kind of get them. I really want to summon for Morgan, but I think the better thing is to actually wait for Morgan's return banner, which is right here. So believe it or not, Morgan comes back a whole bunch. The reason is, is that on JP, um, I think it was a really weird coincidence when, I want to say when they first released, Morgan wasn't the most popular of the three here between, um, um... Fairy Knight Tristan and Fairy Knight go in. I know they. I know their real names. I'm just using these names for the sake of being. Even though I said there would be other things here, but anyway, point is, um, when they first released, I want to say Tristan was probably the most popular one here, and then probably go in, and then Morgan was third. But then after the events of the Lost Belt story, that changed, and she became dominantly the most popular character from Lost Belt 6, along with uh, Oberon, who is here a little bit later, who Oberon is probably the second most popular from here, uh, then followed third with, of course, the Tristan, and then go in, and then somewhere in here is the other one that I don't know where to mark them. But they're all, point is, it's really dumb to compare them all because they're all popular, extremely popular from this Lost Belt, so they get rerun a whole bunch. Every single one from Lost Belt 6 gets a bunch of reruns just because of how popular are they are. Um, that includes Fairy Knight, uh, Lancelot, who isn't pictured here, but is somewhere, but is also very popular and well-loved. Um, yeah, I was originally, like, not, uh, it's gonna be real tough. So basically, here are the big three that I'm thinking of for the year. The big one is obviously, I need to hit up Anniversary, which is right here. Sixth Anniversary Commemorative Campaign. Here's the first one, no... No, we're getting there. 
it's next year. Yeah, no, not the complete. There we go, sixth anniversary. Uh, this is the big one. This features Vich. I need her if I'm going to be be running Buster stuff. So she's definitely a top priority right there. But then the problem is, is that the time that Vich releases is also the time that they release. Um, let's. Oh my God, there's so much for this specific. It's such a bad span of time. It's. I don't even remember when. Where you know what? It has to be in the Avalon con uh, conclusion campaign. Uh, yes, here he is. Here's the other one, Oberon, who is another Buster support, who is also very much needed for certain Buster uh, comps. Not every single Buster can just use Vich. Some of them do need Oberon for the last bit of power, but in general, he's also a good final burst of damage at the end, so it's good to have him in there as well. So, in theory, I would need to get Vich, who in Japan was August 1st, and then 11 days later, <laughs> two weeks basically is when Oberon shows up. And then also right after that is, not too far off, is Summer itself, which features units that, well, first of all, you should, I think if I remember correctly, this um, Da Vinci never returns. So they did, she didn't get a rerun next year. So the summoning campaign did, but she didn't. And this one features... Um, this is the big one for me, which is the Kama Avenger, which I don't really necessarily need because I already have Space Ishtar, but I would really like this Kama uh, for various reasons. And I would also like this Okita um, Alter Saber as well. Uh, this is a rough... There's just no denying that this is a very rough patch of the game. But the main priorities here have switched where it was... If I could get Oberon, that's nice, but, you know, I'm not threading it. I'm really more care about the summer units. I think for this year, it might be the one case where I really care about actually pulling the support for this year, which would be Vich, and then next would be Oberon. And I think Oberon is, oh, man, I have to skip Morgan's Banner, because now that I think about it, the other two that I would want right here, they're right there. So I should just really skip Morgan's banner, and then Morgan will just have to come later. Maybe I try and pick up Morgan from the from the GSSR, because she is in the GSSR this year. Um, she has to be, by the way that uh, the anniversary rolls around. Let me see. If I remember right, she's in here, and I think there's only like four people in it, in her specific category, if I'm remembering right. It's either at the end of the year or at the beginning of the year. Yeah, here she is. Yeah, I should... <sighs> I think, yeah, I think that's a smart play now. I think I'm skipping Oberon, and I'm just going to have to risk the two out of the two out of five chance of getting a dupe and just go here. I don't have to summon for Miss Crane. I can just go here and then hope to God that I don't get any of these two because I already have them, and I'm perfectly fine with just having one dupe of them. Uh, Karen would be kind of a bummer. Miss Crane wouldn't be the, the one I would be careful for. It would definitely be Morgan is the main trying to get here. And if I fail to get her here, she has like multiple 10,000 banners that I can pull on for later. Um, but yeah, I have to focus on these two. Because these two are going to be the most important from here on out. And yeah, then see if I can get anything for summer. And then I think from that point on, I'm good. She's a four star and I definitely want her. Um... I'm trying to think if there's any other big ones that I'm not I'm missing here for this year. Uh, it's probably at the end of the year. Nothing that I can think of. But those that's basically the the rough patch that I have to go through to get the the specific lady I want. And it's going to be not easy. I have to change everything. I had a lot of plans. I usually really do like to save up for summer because summer, um, summer servants typically are my favorite of the year. Um... They're usually the best ones for, to, just, to just have, typically, I find. Um, and this year, specifically, they got some really good ones. And obviously, I'm saving in... I'm doing a big save for... You know what? Because of how crazy I'm summoning for next year... Because I'm saving all my tickets for next year's uh, summer, which is uh, right here. If you're wondering, hey, like I have plenty of tickets. I have at least 100-something tickets, but I need a certain amount of tickets to guarantee that I get um, who I want. It might be best, see as you can see here, they only got a campaign rerun. We didn't get an actual summer event this year. They didn't get a summer rerun of this event uh, this year, but you'd think it would be this one. No, it's not this one. It is this one. Summer Ibuki is the one I'm really going for. 
And I'm saving basically every single ticket that I have for her. I forgot there's a third one. Oh my god, this is... Uh. <laughs> I, I forgot how bad this year is too. <laughs> That's, that's basically one non-factor. The fact that I'm saving every single ticket I have just means that this banner is a no deal. I'm already getting this one. I only have to worry about these two in terms of St. Quartz. But yeah, for this year, the St. Quartz, those are where my A and are going for. And that I think that's my plan for this year. And I think that's the uh, quick on-the-fly adaption that I have to do in order to make it possible and not have to spend a lot of money. Um, that'd probably be my best bet. Yeah, it would be a real bummer. I'm glad Pity is here now, but at the same time, it's a dangerous proposition. I could probably start building towards being sure that I could have both of them and setting some money aside just to be sure. But I really don't like doing that because that's planning for failure. And I don't like to plan for failure. I like to plan for actually getting them. It's just unfortunate that I had no idea that she would be coming. If you had, if you had told me that a follow-up to Quetz was coming in two years' time, um, I would definitely be saving a lot more, but I just didn't know. So it's going to be a rougher year. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for this year because I have to also look at this year. This entire year, I already have Ibuki squared off, but I think I have to stop summoning after summer. Like, it's basically going to be a lot of summoning, basically no summoning in the beginning, a lot of summoning during summer for these two, and then I just stop, and then I just have to wait, and just keep waiting and waiting and waiting, and only doing maybe occasionally three multis just for the fun of it or something. I don't know. It's tough, but that's my current plan, and that's my the way I'm currently looking at it. I think there's a, a number of sync courses that you can probably do, but I already did that, and... It's basically a pivot of what my plan was. <laughs> it's really... You plan for potentially the future. You just can't plan for everything. It feels much worse for the people in... Um, I feel much sadder for the people on JP who just can't plan ahead at all. So they just gotta deal with what cards they got. I at least know two years from now I'll be able to get it. And the other one that I would want, Morgan, I know for a fact she has like five other banners coming in between this year and that one. So there'll be plenty of times for me to, for me to potentially pick her up. And that's probably how I'm going to end up spending my time and thinking about it. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to make a video to make it like, here's my current game plan going forward and that's how i'm kind of gonna have to kind of go with for this there's a lot of things i also just don't know are gonna happen i really do think that we're gonna get some lost belt stuff earlier just because they're we're, our anniversary is just a little bit sooner so it throws off a lot of things into disarray and then we're gonna we're gonna have to figure it out we're just gonna have to plan this together and <laughs> hope for the best basically but yeah that's it for today's video i wish you guys the best of luck in your grinding for valentine's day if you haven't finished the uh grail war that's going on good luck finishing up that grail war even though it's very easy and you can just kind of knock it out on a single day i think if you got the time for it which is probably what I'm going to be doing, just because I'm going to be very busy. I've been busy with work, and then also, like, a Dragon Asian's coming out pretty soon, so I'm going to be lost in that for a bit. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Until next time, I wish you all the best in whatever you're saving for, or whatever you're pulling on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.